you watched the last episode in which I explained a bit about uh, liquid mask, I'm at a stage one, two, three right now of the liquid mask, which means that there's uh, three coats on here. Uh, currently, I need to do uh, one more coat. It's building up pretty well, the liquid mask, so I won't be putting on five coats, but I think four will do the trick. You will wonder why is this standing here. Um, I'll get to that later. <laughs> The liquid mask is uh, building up nicely. What I do every time I liquid mask the, the complete body and I wait for it to dry, I basically tackle one section of the body that, uh, that I put the design on. In this case, I'm uh, inspiring this car on the Rum Bum Racing. I explained in the last video, I'm really not going to bother putting Rum Bum on there because a Rum Bum is something that's really disgusting. So I put the Hemi Storm on there. Um, Hemi Storm has a rum bomb every now and then, but uh, I won't get into that. Uh, these parts, uh, basically I split it up roof, front, one side, uh, the other side. What you can see and what I can see is that this side still needs to be done, but I still need to put my fourth coat of uh, liquid mask on there as well. The rum bomb racing livery is uh, a really detailed uh, design. It is never meant to go on this particular body. So what I did, I have I googled a bunch of pictures. Uh, Audi R8, BMW 3 Series Coupes, um, a whole bunch. What I did, I needed to stretch it a bit and make it fit on this body. This body is, of course, uh, it's a, it's a four door, it's a saloon, uh, or as we call it in Europe, a sedan. Um, so yeah, it gives you a bit of a liberty to, to toy around with the design and that's also what makes it fun. You can imagine if you have a plotter you end up with really crisp, really even uh, lines and everything is basically already determined for you. If you imagine that uh, a design is not meant to go on a specific car that you want to have it on that vehicle, you're free to do whatever. So just uh, get your marker out and uh, and your, uh, your additional design stuff and uh, just go ahead and put it on. What do I use? Well, um, the marker I covered that one pretty much uh, last time, uh, adding 142M. Uh, we'll be able to find one. I think uh, every office supply store has these. Uh, what else does the office supply store have? A basic ruler, really handy if you got some straight lines that you need to put on. For example, also here, uh, along the windows, just uh, yeah, you know, use the ruler, super, super handy. Um, regular, we call it a geodry hook in, uh, in Dutch. I'm originally Dutch, we call this a geodry hook. I have no idea what it's called in English, but uh, you know, that measuring triangle thingy that you can find in your office store, get one. I broke a corner off of mine, and that proved to be really handy. I don't know why, but it's so always if I can't reach it with this corner, I can reach it with that one. So uh, feel free to, to snap yours as well. I got this. This is, um, yeah, it's, it's a building up diameter of uh, just circular shapes. What do I use those for? Well, I still need to, need to adjust the, the, the fuel cap over here, but everything that's, that's circular, just, just find one that, that fits your needs and uh, yeah, just use it. Headlights, for example, really handy to, to use this one. Other than that, my drawing arches. I'm really addicted to those. Whenever I come across a, a bag of drawing arches, I buy them. I always need them. And in this case, especially, it's just, you know, you move the arch around, you stripe, put your design on the shell, and you're done. Just make sure you, uh, you mark up a bit what needs to be dark, what needs to be light. And especially in this case, it's mostly two colors, and then there are a few additional colors. But the main body is going to be two colors a light and a darker blue. So, mark up what needs to be the dark blue, you will benefit from that uh, as you're spraying. What else do I need to tell you guys? Um, oh, yeah, the bowl. What is the bowl doing here? I was looking for something circular. Um, because I needed to put on a globe on the roof and I also needed to put on some globes on the on all of the wheel arches because that's in the design of the rum bum racing scheme so yeah came across this in the kitchen perfect there's a there's always a ton of, of circular shapes in a kitchen cabinet so roam around see what you need 
and just use it because uh, well, easy as that. And afterwards, uh, then using it, you know, fill it with some chips. Yeah, that's also a main thing. Make sure you're comfortable. I I got my iPad here, so I got some music I can listen to, or I I watch an episode of a show that I missed, or I listen to it while I'm drawing. Really nice. Make sure you're comfortable. Get a good chair. Make sure you you sit correct. Have a good posture because you'll be spending a lot of time behind your desk or your uh, table to to accomplish what you want to accomplish with your uh, with your custom paint job. What I did with this Audi, it's a 2006 model, 2005-2006, if I'm correct. So it has. Well, I think a bit dated uh, head and tail lights. So what I did, Audi had an update, a facelifted version of this uh, of this Audi A4 DTM car, uh, I believe in 2009. And I just googled a lot of pictures and I copied those head and tail lights just to make it look a bit more uh, more modern. I also copied the grill off of that one. So. All in all, it, will, it, will, it won't be uh, like a dated car with a modern livery, but I try to keep it as modern as possible. Remember, you know, it's your car, you can do whatever you want, there's no messing up, there's no uh, good or bad. Just do it, just do whatever feels comfortable, and uh, as long as you get the paint on there, it will all be okay. I want to thank you for watching, I hope you will uh, invite, your, invite your friends over, and if you haven't subscribed yet, Press the subscribe button, whether it's up, down, I don't know. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and for all the nice comments that I'll be getting on the videos. Really appreciate it. Thank you.